Hello, my name is Monica Clark and I'm the Interactive Marketing Coordinator with the Wakeman Agency and I'm going to be bringing you a series of videos entitled Social Media ROI dot dot dot. It's going to help you understand exactly what social media ROI is, what you can use it in your company for, how to calculate it, and um, to really get a grasp of what social media can do for you. So, as always, if you have any questions whatsoever, always feel free to email me at mclark at thewakemanagency.com, and I hope you enjoy all the videos. What the heck is social media ROI? Well, I'm here to help you answer this question that even when you look to Wikipedia for answers, you can become very lost in the translation of it all. The basic definition of social media ROI is something straight out of Captain Obvious's mouth. It is the return on your investment when it comes to social media. <laughs> Go ahead and laugh, but for something so simple of a definition, it often can get very complicated to understand and execute. ROI is something that is usually kept for the business focus aspects of an organization's efforts. However, with social media, we begin to dive into the creative and more interpersonal world. So you may be wondering if it's even possible to measure something so completely abstract with a formula that looks like this. ROI equals the sum of the revenue minus investment divided by the investment and multiplied by 100. Hope I didn't lose you on this one. Social media in my eyes is a form of modern communication that can be compared to that of modern art. Math formulas and equations don't fit in this creative world. Or do they? Let's take a look at some factors and consider what will be the main functions that you'll want your social media to accomplish. Warning, there can be many functions that you want, but as with anything, the more factors you add, the more complicated the task will become. Here are a few. At the Wakeman Agency, we use social media for public relations, not only for our clients, but also for ourselves. It's a way to answer questions, create awareness, and is another outlet of media that can be used to get out a message. Some companies also use the factor of sales. Companies are looking to increase their sales, and by offering coupons, discounts, and creating awareness and loyalty, they build all of this for their brand via social media. Networking. It is a major player and goes without saying. The words social and networking go hand in hand, sharing ideas, opinions, and news with one another, and starting a conversation that could lead to new clients, colleagues, and friends. Customer support. Many large, and now even small companies, are handling customer service issues immediately using social media forums to help escalate an issue. In turn, building trust and rapport with the customer themselves. It can often create a wow factor as well, making the customer feel as though they are truly being listened to. Then there is my all-time favorite, and that's social good. Social good campaigns have brought on major changes in our world, from creating awareness of homelessness and animal cruelty, to raising funds to make a change, simply by sending a text message. So how do these factors fit into the ROI formula? Well, it's pretty simple. You take relatively the same formula and just tweak it a bit. It looks like this. ROI equals the same sum of the revenue minus investment plus the factor of your choosing divided by the investment multiplied by 100. You multiply by 100 in order to express the fraction as a percentage and voila. Now, I can supply you with all the formulas in the world, but none of it will make sense unless there is a real end result. Also, you must understand why you would want to even see a result in this form in the first place and how to approach your social media plan successfully in order to achieve a positive result. Luckily, I will be walking you through all of this in the next couple of weeks. Look for my next social media ROI installment entitled Reasoning. What can social media do for you?